Hello everybody, it's April 9th, 2022. We moved the MG off the lawn and into my workshop, which is my driveway. And uh, it's got no brakes, so I'm just going to check the fluid. Who knows, maybe the master cylinder needs to be replaced, or maybe, uh, you know, I, I have to do the rubber hoses. Uh, Look at the brakes. I haven't looked at the brakes yet in this car. It's running great. Happy about that. And uh, so now I have to get the brakes um, working. Of course, they're not zero brakes. The pedal goes all the way to the floor. So, so that's the next step with this uh, car that I picked up a couple of years ago, and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it once it's safe. Okay. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to open the master cylinder for the first time. Oof, okay. Lockheed. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. What do you think of that? Dry as a bone. Now the question is, why is it dry? Is there a leak somewhere? That I'm going to be looking into this spring. Brakes have to be done, have to be safe. So I'm going to add brake fluid and uh, one thing I just want to mention is that this is a 72. So it does not have the big vacuum diaphragm behind the master cylinder. Vacuum assist. So you got to press the brakes, you know, Pretty hard, but it's not a big deal. It's kind of fun. So you don't see that big, I think they call it a servo unit, but it's a big round thing like nine inches in diameter, a big black thing that's like four inches thick. And uh, that takes vacuum from the engine to give you some power assist on the brakes. But this car doesn't have it, which is not a big deal. Okay, I just wanted to let you see that it's not there, see? Just the master cylinder, and there's the clutch slaves. The clutch master is right next to it. Okay, I have a helper in the car, and um, I've been pumping the brakes. I added fluid. So please pump the brakes, and let's see what... Just on and off, little by little. And look, there's bubbles. Yeah, just keep doing that and uh ooh, a lot of bubble a lot of air coming out of the master cylinder the pedal should be getting tighter um, okay so we're going to keep doing this and we're also going to go under the car and see if anything is leaking okay i'm going to pause the video i'm going to stop the video see you in a bit okay so really quick um I added brake fluid. We kept pumping the pe pumping the pedal. Um, you know, I it went down a little bit. Then I added more, topped it off. It didn't go down anymore. Um, so the car, the pedal is a hard pedal now. So I seem to have some brakes now. Like I said, I didn't go through these brakes yet, but there's I don't see any fluid under the car by any of the wheels. So maybe the calipers are good, and maybe the wheel cylinders are good. Um, the master is questionable, and you know I didn't change the rubber hoses; those could be shot too. So just because you don't see anything leaking outside the car doesn't mean that your brake system is sound and won't let you down. Okay. So, and I also topped off the clutch master cylinder, which was. Um, it was pretty full. I just topped it off a little bit. And the clutch on this car is really good. Nice. Okay. That's all for now until we uh, test out the brakes and see how they're doing. And uh, there's one more thing on this car that I know is not stock. There's a bolt right here. And some of you MG experts can tell me what this is all about. You see that bolt? So 
So please let me know, what did somebody do here? I'm not sure what that's there for. I guess I gotta take it off and uh, investigate. Okay, thanks for watching everyone.